One of the most important tools you can have as a long range shooter is going to be a chronograph. The chronograph is going to allow you to figure out what your bullet speed is and this information coupled with the ballistic coefficient, you can find out what your trajectory is going to be down range. Now I've used chronographs quite a bit in the past and I was kind of tired of their operation and also the restrictions on where you can use them. Some shooting ranges will only allow you to use a chronograph if you've been certified and I don't know why that is but that's kind of the way the cookie crumbles. Um, with older kind of chronographs you had to set it up about 10 yards down range so that the muzzle blast will not affect the readings and being in the northwest with all the rain and all that um, and the fact that the chronograph is electronic those two don't mix and you can get a damage so um, I was kind of tired of it and decided to look online to see if there was another solution. So I found this company called Magneto Speed and uh, called them up and they were like, hey, we'll send you a version one. So they sent me it over and so far I'm liking it a lot. The difference between the Magneto Speed and a regular chronograph is that the Magneto Speed mounts directly onto a barrel. So you don't have to put it all the way down range, have a chance of shooting it. Um, have a chance of being damaged just by the weather. The Magneto Speed comes in three different pieces. It has the bayonet, which contains the sensors, and this mounts directly onto the barrel. You have a cable, which connects the bayonet to the electronic device, and you have the electronic device itself. One of my favorite parts about the electronic device is the number of ways you can mount it. It has quarter 20 threads on it, so you can mount it onto just a regular standard tripod, or you can use its little kickstand, or you can use the kickstand also to clamp it to a bench. The actual use of the electronic device is fantastic. It's really simple to use. There's no on and off button. When you plug it in, it turns itself on automatically. So there's no chance of you accidentally turning it on and running out the battery. The screen has a backlight on it. So if you're in a low light condition, you can turn this on and you can view your data. But my absolute favorite part about this is that it writes all the information onto a micro SD card. And they have a little adapter for you, so you can plug it into your computer and open up all the information in Microsoft Excel. So if you have a lot of data for, say you're making a brand new load for a brand new rifle, this is a good way to keep all your data in check. Or if you have, say, a temperature sensitive powder, you can log different velocities at different temperatures and keep it all in one organized place. So it's definitely my favorite chronograph so far. It solves all the problems that I had with the older style chronographs. And I took it to the range last week and tested it against data that I had for my old load on a known bullet coming out of this rifle and the information was pretty much right on par with each other, so I know it's accurate. That being said, I give this a 10 out of 10. Now, some people might rate it a little bit lower for a couple different reasons. One, you can only use it on firearms. If you're using a paintball, airsoft, something like that, you cannot use this device because it only uh, measures metallic objects. Um, also, semi-automatic pistols where the slide moves over the barrel, um, it might not work with it. You're going to probably have to do a little bit of tinkering, which I'm in the process of doing. But I shoot 99% rifle anyway, and this has so far worked really well with my AR, with my bolt-action rifle. Um, I hear you can use it with a shotgun, which is not advisable if you have the old-style chronograph. So overall, I would say this is a 100% perfect buy. It solves all the problems that I need to do. It's accurate, easy to use, and I can use it anywhere and anytime I want to. So overall, definitely 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any questions, please ask them. And as always, take care out there.